Read the flowing words and write them considering the rules of pronunciation. The moon letters and the sun letters. So here we have learned, if you remember, you see here, we have learned Al-Huruf Al-Shamsiya and Al-Huruf Al-Qamariya. So here is the first homework of that. So Nuranisa and Suhaila, you can participate in here, two of you. Here, so it should be, read this, two of you. Oh, yes, teacher, I have to read. Yeah. With the power. Al Baitu. Al Baitu. Okay. Number two. Al Baitu. Al Baitu. Shadda. Not oh, Al. Okay. Al Baitu. Al Baitu. Three. Um, uh, Am dar am daris al mudarisu ah al mudarisu next al bab al babu al babu al talib al talibu al talibu shada this is It's not a problem, sorry. Next. Al Sukaru. As Sukaru. As Sukaru. Next. Al Def Al Def Al Defa to Tur. Al Defa to Al Defa Tiru. Al Deftaru. Sorry. Al Deftaru. Ad Deftaru. Next. Uh, uh, I'm not sure, teacher. Mm -hmm. Just say it. Al Ah. Al Ahu. Al Aha. Al Aho. What is the meaning, teacher? The brother. Ahun oh, is the brother. brother. Al is the the brother. Al Ahun the brother. Al Rasulu sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Al Rasulu. So all this it's the homework. You just have to put the last harakat, the fowls. You have to put the fowls. Ya al baitu tu al diku fatta an shada. Let's go to here. Here you see lesson three. Suhaila. Suhaila, read this. In this lesson, we learn the use of the Arabic definite article AL, which corresponds to the English the. When the definite article Al is prefixed to a noun naturally, the indefinite article N is dropped. Example, Baitun, Al Baitu. So here we have learned Arabic that. Arabic has to. 
here we have learned that when we put al, a noun, the end sound of baitun, this double dhamma will be dropped. So we will have only one dhamma, not double dhamma. It will be, it was baitun, it will be al baitu. So the end sound of a noun is dropped when it's prefixed with al. So we have to keep in mind in that. Continue. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Arabic has 28 letters. Of these 14 are called solar letters. And the other 14 are called lunar letters. In the articulation of the solar letters, the tip or the blade of the tongue is involved as in T, N, R, S, etc. No, wait. The tip or the blade. Yeah, this Arabic has 28 letters of these 14 letters are, sol are called solar letters and the other 14 are called lunar letters. In the articulation of the solar letters, the tip of, a, of the blood of, of the blood of the tongue is involved as in ta, na, ra, sa. Okay. Like we read the, in the Arabic, ta, na, ta, nun, ra, sa. Okay, continue. Okay, teacher. The tip or the blade of the tongue does not play any part in the articulation of the lunar letters, as in ba, uh, wa, mim, uh, ka, etc. When al is prefixed to a noun beginning with a solar letter, the l of al is the assimilated al. to the solar letter. The lam of al is assimilated to the solar letter. Example, al shamsu, the sun, is pronounced as shamsu. So. Continue, teacher. Continue. Uh, no change takes place in writing as shamsu. The assimilation is indicated by the shadda on the first letter of the noun. Okay, no such shadda? assimilation takes place with is a, shadda is the like the tabli on top of the shin. Yeah, here. Shin. So whenever you see this in a noun, you should you should not pronounce the lam. You should not say al shamsu. You should you should say ash shamsu. Okay. You will hey, continue. No such assimilation takes place with the lunar letters. Example: al komaru, the moon is pronounced al komaru. Here are some more examples of the assimilation of the lam of al to the solar letters. Al najmu becomes an najmu. Al rajulu becomes ar rajulu. Al diku becomes a diku. Al samaku becomes a samaku. So here we have learned that. When any noun has the shadda, we should not pronounce the lamb. Okay, like this. Ash al najmu, we can't say. We should say an najmu, ar rajlu, adiku, asamaku. So I hope you guys understand. Okay, Nuranisa. Uh, uh, yes, teacher. Continue. Uh, okay. See the table of lunar and solar letters, uh, page thirteen in Arabic book. Note that the uh, the a and of l alif. Alif and uh, of uh, of al, 
al al of al is pronounced only when it's not preceded by another word another word it is uh, if it is uh, preceded by a word by a word it is dropped in pronunciation so uh, th throw it remains in writing uh e -E -G. uh all bait al baitu here alif is pronounced but if uh, it is preceded by sh uh, sha meaning wa. and meaning wa uh meaning and the alif is dropped and the, the phrases is pronounced Sha not here. Not what is the sha you are reading here? Swa. Wa wal baitu. Wa wal baitu. Uh, not wa al baitu. Yes. So here we have learned that. Here we have learned that the alif of al is pronounce only when it is not preceded by another word. If it's preceded by another word, it is dropped in pronunciation, though it remains in the writing. al baitu you, you pronounce the alif, al baitu Here the alif is pronounced, but if it is preceded by wow, meaning an, the alif is dropped and the phrase is pronounced wal baitu not wal baitu so you can't say wal baitu it's wrong you should say wal baitu continue to indicate this omission in pronunciation the sign uh vasla yes this sign this sign is place it above the humaza above the hamza uh, ab above the hamza uh wal baytu wal baytu so this sign is called hamzatul wasal this sign you see is called hamzatul wasal so when you see any noun with this sign you should not pronounce the alif wal baytu okay, continue. Okay. wal baytu uh, the uh, internal the internal vowel the a e or initial the initial vo vowel a e or u which is uh, which is omitted when preceded by a word is called Hamzatul Wasil. Here is Fata, Asra, Dhamma. Mm -hmm. okay. The initial vowel Fata, A, the initial Asra, e, e, or U, which is Dhamma which is omitted when preceded by a word is called hamsatul wasal. So when you see this sign, A, this sign in English, in the yes. book, inshallah, you should say, A, Fata, E, Kasra, U, Dhamma. Dhamma, okay. Continue. Okay. Uh, an ab ababu an. Ma. It doesn't have a shadda. Aba aba ali al ababu al babu al babu maf mufta maf maf mafta maftuhu. The door is open. 
Al-Qalamu 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 Say it again Al-Qalamu Al-Qalamu Yes Maksurun Al-Qalamu Al-Qalamu Maksurun The pen is broken Ahsan Tanu Renisa Al-Wiyak I mean Suhaida Yes, teacher. Start from the note. Um, you? Okay. Uh, note, we have learned that Tanwin is the indefinite article and it is to be translated as a example. Okay, wait. By Tun. What is, uh, what is, uh, uh, what is Tanwin? Tanwin is um, the 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 double dama, double dama. The end sound of the Arabic noun. Yes. Yeah. Also, the object past that. Here, yeah. this one is called tanwin. Nuranisa also be intention. Yeah. This one is called tanwin. Okay, continue. Um, by tun, a house. This does not apply to adjectives like maftuhun, open and maksurun broken so you cannot say um, a open a broken it only it doesn't apply it only applies this indefinite a is only ab applies to the nouns not object so i hope you understand that okay vocabulary Um, which side first? <laughs> uh, Faki, Fakirun. Okay, Fakirun. Fakirun, poor. Uh, Raniyun. No, which? Oh, called, called. Okay, Kasi, Kasi Run, short. Harun, Harun, hot. Wakifun, standing. Kadimun, old. Baidun, far away. Wasihun, dirty. Kabirun, big. Sakilun, heavy. Alma Alma water Jamilun beautiful Kulbun sweet Santa Nuranisa Raniun Raniin Rich Tawi Tawilun, tall. Baridun, cold. Ja, Jalisun, sitting. Jalisun, sitting. Jadi, jadi. Uh, dun jadi dun new new kori 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 bun kori bun near nado nado no. nado nado fun asra Look, Nerenisa, we have Kasra here. Read again. Nadi, Nadi Fun. Clean. Sorry, Run. Sorry, Run, small. 
coffee, coffee, phone, light, alvari, alvari, alvaro, kun, alvaro, kun, paper, alvaro, kun, paper, al, atu, 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 fa, who at the far who apple to far who at the far who apple at the canoe at the canoe show the canoe do at the canoe at the canoe show Mari Mari Dun Sik So here we have a red land the book a second second time I think we have learned this yeah also we have learned all this the book has written just two times So inshallah, I have to end it here today because I have to go somewhere. As I told you, we, I, I will only teach you 30 minutes. So inshallah, see you guys tomorrow. And I have to end the class in here today. So thank you, teacher. Thank you so much, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, thank, thank you, teacher. Master. Master, 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 Master